everybody, this is Collie UK here doing a review of Riser Triad. This is a 2013, I think it was, a sequel to the original DOS game, uh, Riser Triad, which is about 1995. That was by Apogee Software. It was the sort of sequel to uh, Wolfenstein. Of, uh, Wolfenstein was uh, created by ID Software, or ID Software, I don't know what they, I can't remember what they call it now. Uh, but they uh, went their own way and obviously created Doom, which sort of revolutionised the whole first-person shooter. It really did uh, yeah, change things uh, with its sort of uh, coloured lighting, 3D sort of levels. That was an amazing game. And I've got an amount, amount of time I spent playing that game and, and uh, creating levels for it. Uh, yeah, so Rise of Triad was a uh, step up from Wolfenstein. Uh, it had the... Add a sort of 3D sort of height to the levels, but you couldn't have rooms above rooms or anything, and it was a little bit limited. It had some. The best thing was probably the digitised sort of graphics and the amazing bloody effects when uh, you had explosions going off. It wasn't a great game. It was good, uh, but nothing like Doom. So let's play. I've not played this yet. Let's give this a go. Standard thing, skill levels, easy, normal, hard, ludicrous. I go normal. You could do two different characters. All like stereotypes, no. Let's go for Doug there. I think they're grenades or uh, monster energy drinks he's got on his uh, bandolier. So some information about him. I don't give a shit. Don't give two shits. Play the game. One year in the future. The UN has proof that a rogue organization known only as the Triad has taken over San Nicolas Island off the coast of California. The Hunt, High Risk United Nations Task Force. Stupid name. To investigate. This top secret paramilitary unit has never been called upon. Look like a bunch of YouTube uh, influencers, isn't they? Or social media influencers. The Triad has recently claimed responsibility for major terrorist attacks upon several world powers. And the UN has reason to believe they are planning something even bigger. The Hunt cases a military installation. Multiple guard towers, electrified fencing, searchlights, cigarettes. Yeah, I would say this is their base of operations. That's good. None of them can afford hats, by the way. It ruins their hair. Like the rain doesn't. That's careless. Drop my cigarette. Could start a fire, that. Is that a bushfire start? Clash. What was that? The advertisement for the band there? Focus the light on the should I stay or should I go? Yes, sir. It's a nice comic book style intro. Maybe wore some fucking camouflage, you twats. You wouldn't be spotted. You can do multiplayer, I believe, on co-op. But we're doing single player because I've got no friends. The hunt is back, baby. Right, here we go. What's going on? It's nice and fast. About 6 million frames per second. Guns akimbo. Well, it's nice and uh, gonna get in there. Q does that little uh, knifey attack. Some porridge. It's one of the games where you uh, all the time. Can I go in there? There's a Queen's Garden there, no. Well, oh, I've got unlimited ammo, which is good. Language, boy. Some coins there, some giant coins, like chocolate giant coins. So some, uh, oh for fuck's sake. So throw back to the original game with the uh, all these discs, these sort of little discs you sort of stand on. What's this wanker. No. Please. Don't shoot. 
Got a rocket launcher. Please, don't shoot. Take that, you cunt. I mean, you nasty German type person. I'm stuck on something. Uh, this feels very like a very cheapy sort of game, I'll be honest. Uh, it, it's it's okay, but it doesn't really feel like. Uh, definitely feels like a cheap game, sort of you know, a, a non-top tier game. <laughs> I got that fucking thing. You need backup, we need a fucking uh, paramedic, mate. They get on there. I could jump would be nice. I hate jumping in first person games, you can never judge what you're doing. I've been playing Half Life 2 again. I uh, really got into it this time. I wasn't a massive fan the first time around, but one of the games, there's a lot of jumpy sections because you can't see where your feet are and that. You just, you just fall off. Take like that, you. Bastard's ass. You want some? Oh, yes. I don't know whose blood that was. Mine or his. Got pain? Here, have some of this shit, motherfucker. Whoa, language, laddie boy. I don't want one gun. What's this? Oh, you can have one gun at a time again. Rockets it is then. Well, I don't know what the other gun was, but... Some blocks falling down there. So the game's eight years old, so you can't expect cutting edge graphics or anything like that. But the gameplay is very uh, okay. I don't know what them coins do. If you get enough of them, do you get extra life? I don't know. What do you want lives for? Uh, stand here. Some some uh, priest porridge. Just not regular porridge, but priest porridge. That's like super shit. That. I don't know where I'm going. Oh shit. Oops. Still at 95 health. So, uh. Happy days. I've got, oh, I've got a medium secret area. So there's different size secret areas apparently, or some are worth more. I don't know. I don't know. Some are better than others. So, mine are. Oops. Yeah, these sort of floaty platforms were in the original game because it couldn't, it wasn't proper 3D. Uh, neither was Doom really, but uh, a lot of restrictions what you could do with uh, with the engine that uh, Rise was made of. So you get up there, don't I? Yeah. So, but this is a throwback. So the only elevation you had in. Uh, the original game was these sort of floaty platforms and they sort of brought that back in uh, uh, yeah I hate not knowing where I'm going is there a map or anything? I don't think there is I think I should go this way oh you can no. Please. Don't shoot. I mean, there's a little bit of meat to the guns. But the guy, I mean, oh, nasty. They sort of charge it here with no particularly, no particular skills. I'll get a machine gun, I know that. Yeah. Wanker. Stop. Fucking, if you're going to shoot me, yeah, what he said, if you're going to shoot me, don't start begging for mercy. That sort of shit don't go down well with me, right? Have some conviction. You want to kill me? Stick with it or fuck off. Outsider. 
Oh, it's just putting. So it looks like this is the pretty much the game. I assume at some stage there's a bit of a boss. I ate some monk. There's a lot of monk stuff going on there. Some monk's food. I've not seen a monk yet. In the original game there was a lot of cultists. They were like, they were like a monk, dressed in monk's robes. I think uh, it got moderate reviews this game when it came out. Is that wanker? Which I can, I can see that. Like I say... Uh, Game's moved on a bit since this game came out, and it never was. Whoa, who's that? You k bastard! Oh, always kill me, wanker! Yeah, game's moved on. And uh, so, yeah, you, you gotta give it a little bit of slack. Uh, so I got 88 out of 196 coins, killed 40 out of 52 enemies. Let's get one more go. So he's moving on here. I'm basically just going to play a load of games I've had in my Steam library uh, for since dawn of time. Eh, won't even be fair with uh, just get through them. There you go. And that. Oh, what's a machine? Why can't I get your machine gun? Good news, I got my health back. Not the most accurate, that, uh... Uh, knife lunch. I'm at it. Give me, gotta love me some porridge. It's like it's like it's like ready break, but for soldiers. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got machine gun at last. <laughs> got those these coins as well. Gonna buy me a nice t-shirt. Sam Frankie says relax on it with those uh meal gotten gains. Well, I don't know what the plot is. Let's say some evil dictator. Just going around stealing all the uh toilet rolls. Even though there's not a shortage anymore, they still think there's, there's going to be a shortage of toilet rolls in this COVID crisis. So you're going around basically uh, stopping this evil gang. Nefarious bastards. Andrex stealing puppy hating bastards. You can fucking die as well. Fucking hell, how many times you got to shoot the bastards? I'll tell you what, it was a great uh, great remake of a shooter recent in recent years was Shadow Warrior. That came out around Night 6. It was made with the build engine which Duke Nukem 3D used. Uh, basically, it was a bit of a... One of the most politically correct of games was a Shadow Warrior. Uh, but it was... One of the best. Let's fuck some shit up. One, it has some nice sort of features. It was really good of all these sort of free 3 d proper 3D era shooters. It was one of the better ones. And uh, they made a new version featuring Lo Wang uh, a few years back. And that was really good. That was enjoyable. And I really enjoyed that. It had loads of power up and stuff. The graphics are good. It's fucking manic as hell. There's a sequel as well, which I've played a little bit of. Uh, but they were really good games. Uh, so while Shadow Warrior had a good update, Duke Nukem Forever was the follow-up Duke Nukem 3D. Was a fucking load of shit. I'm not. I'm have to play it one day. Is it? 
Fuck off. Let's sort of charge it with like a bunch of uh, enemies from. It might reminds me of Golden Eye, they sort of dumb as fuck sort of AI sort of just charge at you. That was quite a good game, wasn't it? I've got that early on the N64, a bit of a classic old Golden Eye. I've got, I've got that. Um, I've got the N64 now, I've got Golden Eye. It's very hard to aim, but uh, the frame rate ain't great. But, but hey, yeah, it is an old game. So I just seem to run around like uh, no particular skill. Shoot you, you want some? Yeah, fuck you. Hey, what? You want that? You want that as well? And that? Oh, he killed me. Well, maybe. Well, maybe I should pay a bit more attention. Anyway, that is Rise of Triads, and uh, I'm going to give that 5 out of 10. Now, if you pick that up for about 3 or 4 quid, you'll get a bit of enjoyment out of it. I think there's a multiplayer mode. I don't know if it's like Deathmatch or whatever. I wouldn't go out of my way to play that, but uh, yeah, that's Rise of Triads. Uh, I'm Colin UK. If you've liked the video, for whatever reason, do get a thumbs up or whatever, but you know, entirely up to you. So, adios amigos. See you later.